Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to learn algorithms quickly. I get this request all the time. People ask me on Facebook like nonstop. This is probably the most asked question that I get. Um, so I figured I'd just make a video on it. A few things to note. Uh, I'm certainly not the best at learning algorithms. There are people far better at it than I am. I think I learn pretty fast. I think the fastest I've ever done something was like 42 algs in like three or four days, which is decent, but there are certainly people like Justin Harder uh, who are a lot faster than me. Uh, he did something like 50 in an hour or something like that, something ridiculous. Um, but these are the basic principles that I use to learn algorithms. Um, and a lot of it, you know, just comes from learning algs and just it just doing it and it just becomes naturally easier but if you use these basic principles i think it will help you learn algs faster so let's just get right into it so one of the first basic principles to understand is breaking your algorithms down into triggers i feel like a lot of people don't do this even though it's something that is brain dead easy in my opinion and things triggers are just things like sexy move sledgehammer so this inverse sexy move are you are prime you know, just small things like that. Are you to our prime? There's lots of different types of triggers and having an understanding of all those triggers really helps a lot in learning algorithms. A fairly good example of an alg with a lot of triggers is this OLL right here. The first four moves is just a sexy move. So that's easy to remember. The next three moves is are you prime R prime. So that would be, you know, if you had a pair right here, are you prime R prime. And then there's three random moves, I guess, F prime, U prime, F and then R U R prime. So that's really easy. It's just essentially three triggers in there, four if you want to count F prime U prime F, um, and just inserting a pair from another angle. But when you break your algs down like that, it becomes a lot easier to learn them. Another good example of an alg that's just a bunch of triggers is this one right here. This alg is just two triggers put together. It's a sexy move followed by a sledgehammer. So if you know sexy move and sledgehammer, that alg is incredibly easy to learn. All you need to remember is two triggers instead of remembering, you know, eight different moves. So that breaking your algs down into triggers helps a lot. The next basic principle is just tracking F2L pairs in your algorithm. A lot of algorithms are just taking an F2L pair out and inserting it differently. So being able to track that helps a lot. So for this one right here, it's everyone knows this, it's just a soon, and it's one of the most basic ideas of how this works. It's just take an F2L pair out, so there's the pair, move it over, and then insert it differently. So obviously that was really easy to track. It was just, you know, take the pair out, move it, insert. But that's how a lot of algorithms work. Another good example of that would be this alg right here. So all it is, is take the F2L pair, F2L pair out, move it over, R U prime R prime. So there's a trigger right there, U prime, followed by a sledgehammer. So if you watch this alg, it's really easy. It's just some triggers and basic um, F2L pair tracking. So R U R prime to take it out, U, R U prime R prime to bring it back, then U prime and sledgehammer. So it's triggers and it's really easy to track that F2L pair. So a lot of algorithms, if you can track an F2L pair, it's super easy. Another good example of that would be, uh, whoops would be this OLL right here. It's just F, and then you're inserting this F2L pair right here, adjusting the top layer, U prime, and then putting this F2L pair right back where it was. So just some basic pair tracking right there that I think is really easy. Another common thing with algorithms is that they're just two algorithms put into one. So this case right here is really easy. It's just an anti soon followed by F sexy F prime. So as you learn more algs, you'll see things like this. A lot of the ones that are two algorithms put into one are really basic algs. Like this one was just anti soon followed by F sexy F prime. But look for that because that helps break down algs really easily. You know, if you saw this algorithm out, you might go, okay, that's kind of long. That might be hard to learn. But if you break it down into anti soon F sexy F prime, then that alg becomes really easy. Just like that. So the next example is look for repeating patterns inside your algorithms. Uh, this helps a lot. If you look at an R perm, it has a few repeating patterns in the beginning. So the R perm starts R prime U2, R U2, and then R prime again. 
So the first four or five moves there are really easy to remember because it's alternating between R and U2 moves. So R prime U2 then alternates to an R U2 and then R prime. And then the next is F, so one random move, sexy move. So there's a trigger inside there, R prime, F prime, R2. So really there's only a few extra moves you need to remember inside that because if you can remember that the beginning alternates, so R prime U2 R, U2, R prime, that's really easy to remember. And then an F, you gotta remember that, and then sexy move, there's an easy trigger, and then R prime, F prime, R2. So really breaking, looking for uh, repeating patterns inside your algorithms also helps a lot. So look out for that. And the last thing I have is just learn algorithms and you will naturally get better at it. Uh, you're not gonna get any better by not doing anything. You just need to go and learn algorithms. That is the best way that you will learn them faster. Eventually you will just get to a point where you can see someone do an algorithm once or twice and you just you just know how to do it from there. Um, that's kind of how it is for me now. If someone does an algorithm real fast, you know, I can look at it and go, okay, that makes sense. And from there I know it. Um, but that's just from years of experience of just learning lots of algorithms. So just go out there and learn them. Apply these basic principles and it should help you learn algorithms a lot faster. So I hope this helps and I'll see you guys later.